بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد عيد الحبت في الله Islam has made us brothers Allah the creator of the heavens and earth the one who is a provider and sustainer the one who gives us everything we have he created us to worship him and him alone qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al karim wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa li ya'budun i have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us with a divine purpose which is to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala to fulfill that purpose that he subhanahu wa ta'ala legislated for us as his creatures to give him his rights as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith of muadh ibn jabal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in radiyallahu ta'ala anhu muadh radiyallahu ta'ala anhu was behind the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or was on the donkey with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said kun uh, kuntu radif an nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam al ihmar faqala ya muadh atadri ma haqqa allah ala ibadi wa ma haqqa li ibadi allah muadh was on the donkey with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he asked him, O Mu'ad, do you know the right of Allah on his servant and the right of the servant upon Allah? And then he said, Allah wa Rasulullah, Allah and his messenger know best. Then the Prophet said, The right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships him and him alone and doesn't associate any partners with him. And we know this, Ahabit Tifillah. But practicing, and implementing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands. We make it difficult upon ourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to be one ummah, one nation, commanding the good and forbidding the evil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold on all you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And the Mufassirin say, the Habli Allah is the Qur'an. Some of them say it's the Sunnah. Some of them say it's the Quran and the Sunnah and it's Islam. And all of those tafasir do not contradict one another, but they strengthen one another. That we have to hold on to the correct minhaj, correct methodology of Islam. How we understand the Quran, how we understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes. And we should be one ummah. We shouldn't fight each other. We shouldn't kill each other. We shouldn't harm each other. We're supposed to strengthen each other. And we're supposed to cooperate in righteousness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَتَعَوَنَ عَلَى بِرِي وَتَقُوا اللَّهَ تَعَوَنَ عَلَى إِذْمِ وَعُدْوَانِ Cooperate, all of you. تَعَوَنَ عَلَى بِرِي وَتَقُوا Cooperate in righteousness and God-fearfulness. تَقُوا وَلَا تَعَوَنَ عَلَى بِرِي وَلَا تَعَوَنَ عَلَى إِذْمِ وَعُدْوَانِ And do not cooperate in sinfulness and hatred. I just wanted to point this out as a reminder to myself and a reminder to my brothers and sisters that we have to stop the Hizbiyah. We have to stop dividing in groups and sects. We have to be as one nation. But guess what? It's muqayyid. It's restricted. Our ta'awun and our cooperation has a restriction. Allah is commanding us to cooperate in good. Ta'awun ala bira wa taqwa. Cooperate in Righteousness. Oops. Righteous. Righteousness. Wata'awana la biri wa taqwa and piety. And piety or taqwa, habatifillah here, is referring to adhering to Allah's commands and avoiding His prohibitions. That's the ta'awun. So if you begin to ta'awun ala hizbiyah, ta'awun ala calling to your group, calling to your sect, we're ashari in aqidah. We're this. We are Sufi in this. We're Naqshbandi in this. We're Diobandi in this. Then you're not ta'awun ala bira wa taqwa because you've isolated yourself from the rest of the Muslims. You are supposed to adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the Salaf and Sunnah. That's the correct path. That's the Sibi law. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drew a line in the sand 
with his companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum. He said, well, have a sabeel Allah. And then he drew one on the right and on the left. He said, have a subul. He drew one like this, have a sabeel Allah. Well, have a subul. Ala kullu ras fihi shaitan, or kama qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At the end of each one of these paths, the one that's on the right and the left, is a shaitan. Shaitan. And he's calling to it. Because he's calling to his biya. He's calling to his biya. He's calling to his group. He's calling to his sex. He's calling to his crew. We're the only brothers that are on the haq. Us three in such and such city. Us four in this city. How do we know this? Because we have to go back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the methodology of the Salaf to see who's really on the haq. Who's calling to Kitab Allah, who's calling to themselves. Who's calling the Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who's calling to their Jama'ah. The Sunnah to Sufiya. The Sunnah to Kira. So and so's group. We're Jama'at al Ahbash. We're the Raf of the Shia. We're Ikhwan al-Muslimin. We're Jama'at al-Tabliq. We're Jamaat al-Takfir wa Hijra. Which one are you? You want to be from Ahlul Sunnah. You want to be on those who are in the Sabeel Allah. Have he had the Sabeel Allah. Wa have he subul. This is the Sabeel Allah. This is the path of Allah. It's the Minhaj Allah. As Sarat Allah al Mustaqim. It's the straight path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's void of his being. So be cautious of calling to yourself. And be cautious of attacking your brothers from Ahlul Sunnah. Ta'awna ala biri wa taqwa. Cooperate in righteousness and piety. Wala ta'awna ala ifni wa rudwan. Do not cooperate in wickedness. And enmity or hatred. Enmity. Don't ta'awna ala those things. How can you have enmity? You can have enmity to your brother from Ahlul Sunnah. You study from the same ulama. You go to the same durus and lectures. You adhere to the same kawaii, kawaii of Ahlul Sunnah, the principles of Ahlul Sunnah. You understand al asmai wa sifat, according to the madhab of the Salaf. You understand Tawheed, according to the madhab of the Salaf. You understand the Deen, and according to the madhab of the Salaf. But you differ over this person. You differ over that person. You differ over her. Is she on the Sunnah or not? Well, so-and-so said she's off it, she's off it. You don't agree, you're off it. This is incredibly dangerous, and it can open the bab to Hezbiyah. Because you can be the one, as they say in a, an Oromo proverb, that you can be the one calling to something, calling, refuting something, but then three fingers are pointed right back at you when you're pointing the hand this way. So you're calling people away from Hizbi, don't be Hizbi, don't be Hizbi, that one's a Hizbi, that one's a Hizbi, but the three of the fingers are pointing back at you. So it's just a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters to be careful of excessive tibdi, of calling everyone an innovator, because you have to, these are Sharia rulings. Tibdi, with takfir, with tafsik, those are all Sharia rulings. To declare someone a disbeliever, that's a Sharia ruling. To declare someone an innovator in Allah's religion, that's a Sharia ruling. To declare someone a fasik in the religion of Allah, that's a Sharia ruling. And they're based on ilm wa fiqh. The Prophet said, Man Allah bihi khayran deen. Whatever Allah wants good for a person, he, he gives them understanding of the religion. So be of those who have fiqh fi deen, or keep silent. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with amal nafid, us can tayyibu amal wa taqabila, and forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam.